two two whole neighborhoods um, stretching, actually three if you want to count Seco Mines and Elmo Creek as two different neighborhoods where people were displaced because of water in the homes, particularly in Elm Creek, uh, water, you know, in some cases up to the roofs. Also, Herradura up in uh, Las Quintas, which is on the southern end of Maverick County, was also severely hit by the floods where whole homes were swallowed up by the water. Uh, 277, as we sit here right now, it's 3 o'clock on Sunday. It's still closed due to the flooding. We're going to get the DPS, uh, I'm sorry, TxDOT should be doing some sort of assessment on the structural integrity of the bridge. Right now, only special purpose vehicles are being allowed to cross. That means law enforcement coming back and forth to work. Buses that are bringing residents uh, from Quemado that were at the Quemado shelter. And so far, between the county, the city, and the state emergency management team that put into place Texas Parks and Wildlife, the Texas a and Forest Division, uh, they've done a great job of assessing, assisting, and coordinating a lot of efforts. The Red Cross, of course, they came through big, Salvation Army. We've also got some, uh, some volunteers that are bringing cleanup kits and what they call mud kits for the people once they get into their homes. And that's really going to be the big issue after Tuesday when the Red Cross and the Salvation Army pull out. What are we going to do with the people that are displaced and how are we going to keep feeding those that need to keep stay in the shelter over here at the ICT Center? Well, I wanted to come see firsthand uh, the issues that, that uh, the residents of Maverick County and Eagle Pass are, are facing as a result of the flooding uh, in a lot of the areas, particularly the Elm Creek area and uh, uh, Seco Mines. And in addition, there's uh, uh, some additional areas at Adura, for example. And, and meet, talk to some of the folks and, and see what it is that we can do, how, how we can be of service. Some uh, really good visits with some people, uh, learned a lot. Uh, uh, it's very clear to me that uh, you know the, the people here in Maverick County are so resilient, but they're also so good about taking care of each other as neighbors help neighbors to get people out of houses through windows or what needed to be done and didn't leave anybody behind. And it's pretty, uh, it's really gratifying to see that in the midst of the crisis, you still have this uh, essential fraternity, this uh, this bond uh, that the people in Maverick County take care of. Us. All right, thank you very much, Congressman. We appreciate your presence in Maverick County I, uh, and all of your assistance. I will tell you that this is, a, uh, I think everybody knows this is a place that's very special to me. And I take advantage of every opportunity to be here. And while this is a sad occasion to be here and not the kind of visit that I'd like to be making, again, I, I am just, um, I'm, I'm really impressed by the fact that Maverick County has drawn together so well to help each other and take care of each other uh, throughout this, uh, the last couple of days of some really intense.